Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's Daphne here. And Layla, hey. Welcome back. We are excited because we are doing something a little bit different. We are testing green and sustainable products. We'll be researching the claims they're making and then testing them to see if they're actually effective. So Layla, why don't you talk a little bit about why we think this is something that's important and something we're going to be doing? Yeah, totally. Well, it's an interest we both had in terms of testing out products that are uh, quote unquote green and just healthier for people and the environment. So uh, we wanted to kind of take a test run of doing this because uh, we realized that choosing safer and more sustainable and socially conscious products um, quickly turned out to be complicated because there's a lot of claims out there. Yeah. Totally. Um, you know, buzzwords, <laughs> for example, um, natural, organic, eco-safe, like what does it all mean and what is the impact these different brands are actually having? So we're um, heading into that world with you and we're going to report back. Um, we also want to find out, based on our own experience, like how effective we find these products and as compared to sort of products we've used in the past that are more uh, chemically products, based. Yeah, yeah conventional because chemicals aren't always bad. We're technically all made up of chemicals, guys. So when you just see chemicals as a word that you want to stay away from, that might not be true. So we're just going to look into that field and explore and do as much research as we can um, for all these products. And we're starting out with um, makeup and skincare because that is like overwhelming the green marketplace you get all kinds of crazy buzzwords as Layla said like natural or organic what does this mean um and so we are actually starting with a brand that I've heard of before but have never used it's called Juice Beauty um and just a little bit about Juice Beauty and its background um and this information is from their website so we're going to trust them that they're just saying the truth about themselves in terms of how they were founded. Um, and they were founded by a woman named Karen Benke in 2005. And her goals in starting this um, company was that she wanted to make organic and natural formulations of beauty um, and skin care products that perform as well as conventional beauty products because she had recently learned that the skin apparently absorbs over 60% of what is placed on it, which is a fact we're going to check because who knows if that's true or not. Sometimes you just read that thing and you assume it's true, but we should always check the facts. Um, more recently, uh, she has partnered, her company has partnered with um, Gwyneth Paltrow and the infamous Goop brand, which is sort of luxury, sustainable lifestyle products. They call it eco chic products. Um, but but bes despite that, um, the products we found on their website were pricey, but not overly expensive like some of the Goop products are. So we still thought it was a good introductory product for this series. So um, we are going to talk a little bit about some of the claims they have made on their website about their products and um, point out little places that we're going to look into and see if that information is actually um, as accurate as it might seem. So uh, Layla, do you want to talk about uh, the first claim? Uh, yeah, here we go. So the first one um, here is that it is antioxidant and vitamin rich juice base um, rather than petroleum derivatives. Um, it's better than conventional products and also other natural products. So the fact that it's like a juice base is is in um, advantage here. Does that, what does that even mean? Right. So we're gonna find <laughs> find that out, and it says proven by clinical testing. So we'll look into see if they have any information about their clinical testing online, which they don't always have that information. But it feels like something that they should have information about online. So I don't know. We'll look into that. Um, Okay, their next claim is that they have authentically organic formulas made from USDA certified organic ingredients, 
Um, they use ingredients from USDA, USDA certified organic farms for two reasons. Number one, to enhance the powerful antioxidants, which increase the efficacy of their products. And number two, to limit pesticide and synthetic fertilizer residue, which could be absorbed. So that f first one, does that seem weird to you? Like, is that a thing you've ever heard of, Layla? Um, enhancing the powerful antioxidants through Beca because of their organic, organic stuff. I don't know. I've that never... is the first time that I've heard that, but I'm I'm new. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> we'll check. We'll check um, into we that find. interesting little piece of information. The second one, uh, organic farming does limit pesticides and fertilizer because that's something they don't use. So we'll look into what USDA organic means it's it's a governmental seal of approval essentially but what does it actually mean to organ to be organic and i think it's just means it's like pesticide and fertilizer free it's not any other like you can still have giant monocultures of um different plants and it can still be considered organic so we'll we'll talk a little bit about that and we'll talk about all these things after we go through our testing, we'll have our research findings at the end in the conclusion. Um, so stay tuned for that. Very exciting stuff. Um, another claim is you. You're, you're doing the next claim. You. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, one way or the other. <laughs> um, so they say powerful action without potentially harmful and doctrine disrupting ingredients. Juice Beauty formulates without, and now they list a lot of chemicals. I'm going to give it my best shot on pronunciation. Uh, parabens, petroleum, pesticides, propylene, butylene glycols, silicones, talc, carbon black, phthalate. Phthalate? Phthalate. 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 Maybe we'll learn how to pronounce these things too. <laughs> Sulfate. PEGs, PEA, DEA, GMO. Oh, GMOs. That's a big Silicone. thing. Mm. I know. We just opened another subject matter area here. They said silicones twice. <gasps> silicones again. So definitely no silicone. <laughs> Artificial dyes or synthetic fragrances. Um, so for the several thousand other commonly used cosmetic ingredients we never add, see our clean beauty challenge. Ooh, they have a clean beauty challenge. How and that exciting. is uh, very eye-opening for me. I realize these are chemicals that are in all of our products, and there's thousands more, and I cannot even pronounce them. So this is going to be well. I mean, some of those might be things that are just chemical versions of natural things, and as I said, that's not always a bad thing. So we will check into that and see what we think. So the next claim is that all their products are vegan and have not been tested on animals. Juice Beauty never formulates with animal byproducts, whether it's glue from horses' hooves or carmine from crushed beetles. Additionally, Juice Beauty is Leaping Bunny certified and received the PETA Courage and Commerce Award. So we will look into their vegan status. All right. Um, the next one is sustainable company practices utilizing solar power and sourcing locally. Juice Beauty sources as many ingredients as possible from the western region of the United States to limit fuel waste and to control quality. Of course, our formulas are as sustainable as possible since the majority of our ingredients come from USDA certified organic farms and our boxes and labels are made with recycled or FSC certified paper printed with soy ink and sourced in the U.S. You'll see a photo of our corporate headquarters where we utilize all our sustainable and recycled materials. Uh, their final, their final claim, their final claim is that they do socially responsible giving. They set aside funds every year to donate to the breast care, the breast cancer fund, and EWG, which I don't know what that is, but we'll look it up. Um, these two organizations provide amazing data pointing out the many unnecessary chemicals and conventional chemical beauty products and have amazing research that helps all consumers. Additionally, they support the Representation Project as it is a fabulous group that supports human rights. Okay, we will look into that stuff and report back about their philanthropy. So that is basically 
the overview of Juice Beauty, but now the exciting part, I mean, sustainability and eco claims are exciting, but what you've been waiting for. We got some of the products. We bought them <laughs> with our own hard-earned cash, and we are going to test them over the next couple of weeks. But we're going to show you what we got. We're going to unbox them live here on YouTube. How exciting. Here we go. <laughs> so we both got different things, um, but we got little packages um, of some of their uh, like most liked product. I don't know. We got some products. Ooh, and I've got a sample. How exciting. It came in a lovely, apparently, Soy Ink FSC certified box. Uh, what do we have here? We've got our sample. We got a Phyto Pigments Illuminating Primer, I guess, with a picture of Gwyneth Paltrow on it. That's very exciting. We also got a sample of Stem Cellular Anti Wrinkle Moisturizer. Right there, how exciting. Oh, and there's your box. Oh, I have to find mine. Here's mine. Now, I can't remember which, did we get different things? I can't remember. I don't know, I got age to five solutions. I, oh, I did too, we didn't get different things. Oh, we got the same things, but hey. I, we, so, Layla was that very decisive. She was very decisive about what she wanted to get. She was like, this is the one I'm going to get. And there were two different ones. There was Age Defy, and then there was a moisturizing one. And I was like, I want my skin to be ageless, but I also want it to be moisturized. I don't know what to choose. So I kept <laughs> and I wanted and SPF forth. in my daily lotion. So that's why you <laughs> so chose So Age Defy it was. Yeah. So they have, it's a $40 value. Or $78 value, and we only paid $40 for it, which seems, on its face, pretty good value to me. Especially since you get uh, so many different things, and now we're just going to open the little package. Yeah, it's a pretty good discount, and it's like a travel size. I was a little bit, I don't, I don't know, that's probably on the higher end of products that I've spent money on for myself, but I think that it could be worth it, first of all. And second of all, the sample sizes... They're pretty good. Um, are relatively generous. Yeah, I yeah, think this is going to really, last for a long really time. Good, um, size. Um, and I am sort of used to getting sample sizes because I get um, a glossy box every month. So deluxe sample sizes are important to me because, you know, you pay for you're paying You're still paying money for these things. So what do we want to start with? Do we want to start with the cleanser? Oh, wow. Yeah, so green apple brightening gel cleanser see, i can't i'll do close-ups of these and you guys will see it when i'm doing close-ups um so yeah it exfoliates and refines with potent fruit acids how exciting um and i like brightened skin this brightening cleanser will reveal a more refined looking complexion antioxidant rich and purifying organic organic botanical juices sugarcane hydroxy acids and plant-based cleansers exfoliate and deeply cleanse Ele excellent for sun damage and aging skin for optimum brightening results i don't think i'm sun damaged but i am aging a little bit um, are we all <laughs> i guess everybody is aging that's true <laughs> Um, so they say cleanse morning and evening by massaging onto face, neck, and décolletage, which means this area oh. here. Uh, rinse well. Follow with the Juice Beauty Green Apple Age Defy Serum and Green Apple Age Defy Moisturizer. So this is going to be more extensive than my current beauty regime, which I just yeah, wash okay. my face and then I put some moisturizer on. So what's the next one? Wait, it's... what came first? The serum or the... The serum or... is next. Okay, so I've identified oh, the serum. Let's see how much is in this. So it's two ounces in the cleanser, which is not bad. So the the serum has how many ounces? 0.25 ounces. And that's okay because serums, you're only supposed to use like a drop or something. Like a little bit? Okay. Yeah. Um, Do you want to read what it says on the back? Yeah. Okay. After cleansing with the Juice Beauty Green Apple Brightening Gel Cleanser, as you said, you apply this. Um Followed by the moisturizer, so we're at step two. And they have a ton of ingredients on here, so we're going to have a lot of fun looking those up and seeing what they actually are. So, yeah. moisturizer. Green Apple Brightening SPF 15 Moisturizer. Broad Spectrum SPF. So we're vital... what I was excited about. Yay! <laughs> uh, 
um, revitalize and protect with this multitasking lightweight daily moisturizer that combines zinc broad spectrum sun protection with brightening alpha hydroxy acids and organic fruit antioxidants to hydrate and smooth for optimum age defying benefits nurture yourself this sounds great for summer it's all about like sun protection and just taking Making care sure of your you're skin moisturized it sounds good yeah um oh is this oh is this the right one because there's two moisturizers did we choose the right one Oh, I think we did because... No, no, we're SPF... supposed to do the Age Defy moisturizer. That's the one that they said to put oh. on. My goodness. Too many moisturizers. <laughs> um, do you want to read the Age Defy one instead? Okay, I'll read the Age Defy one. And I'm just going to interject here that I believe that we're in the right order because we're talking about this as if it's daytime, right? In the morning? or Yes. Or, yes. Supposedly. So... Because then I would use SPF for daytime use, but for evening use, I would use a regular Okay, moisturizer. that sounds yeah. good. That makes sense, because you're not going to um, go sleep in the sunshine. Right, most likely. <laughs> so that's how we'll do it when we do it. We'll do the green apple one in the morning with, I mean, the cleanser with the SPF one in the morning, and then the cleanser with the Age Defy in the evening. That's how we'll test it. But did we put yeah. serum on both times? I don't know. I was I wondering that too. I think we should just do it in the evening. I want so say. serum just for the evening. You don't want a okay. serum on your face the whole day. Yeah, probably not. So good point. So, okay. Um, I think there's so some flexibility here, but this is what <laughs> we decided how we're going to do it. Yeah, so I like mean, morning? Morning. Um, we'll do cleanser. the cleanser and the, the SPF moisturizer. And the evening yes. we'll do cleanser, cleanser. serum, age to five moisturizer, An age and then we'll okay. figure out there's a peel too. So let's oh, read yeah, the let's, moisturizer let's look first. Let's at the peel. Oh, okay. I'll read this we, ne we never first. talked about what's in it. It's very important. So, and what makes yes. it different from this one besides the SPF? Right. Okay. So let's see. Visibly brighten and smooth with this clinically proven age to five moisturizer that combines a brightening complex of certified organic juices with a powerful antioxidant cocktail of alpha lipoic acid, COQ10, vitamin C, peptides, and DMAE. So we've got some research to do mm -hmm. for optimum age defying results. After cleansing with Juice Beauty's Green Apple Brightening Gel Cleanser and applying Green Apple Age Defy Serum, so this is our nighttime routine, mm -hmm. massage the rich moisturizer into face, neck, and décolleté. Use, oh, use morning and night. Curious. Hmm, why do we have this extra? Well, we're going to do what we said we <laughs> were going to do. It also says yeah. rejuice yourself on this. Oh, rejuice yourself. Should I read that? Mm, no, that's... Oh, oh, then it's just the list of ingredients in yeah. really tiny tiny print. Yeah, but <laughs> reduce doesn't seem like a thing. Okay. So our final okay. item is the green apple peel. We got full strength and this is according to the, my research on their website they're trademarked and signature item so it was very exciting that this was included in their Age Defy Solutions kit um, and it says after cleansing with the Juice Beauty Green Apple Brightening Gel Cleanser in the evening, ooh, in the evening, apply a generous layer to entire face, neck, and décolleté. Décolleté? I think I said it right the first time. I don't oh, know. you said it better. I didn't say it properly. <laughs> I don't I don't know French. I'm bad. Um, avoiding the eye area. Leave on for 10 minutes. Flushing and tingling are normal. Oh, no. Rinse well. Follow with the Green Apple Age Defy Serum and Green Apple Age Defy Moisturizer. Use one to two times... A week, a week at night. So we'll do okay. it once a week just because we don't want to overdo it for our skin. So we'll just do this like halfway through the process and maybe the last day. I don't know. We're going to be testing for two weeks. So we'll have a couple times of doing this. Um, and it suggests a patch test behind ear for 15 minutes. So we'll test it too so that we... Uh, don't lose the skin on our face completely i don't know <laughs> okay well um those are the products and they seem really good they seem like for 40 dollars um 
I mean, it's more expensive skincare than you'd find in like a drugstore or something, but it seems like a reasonable showing for the money we spent. And we'll yeah. see if it actually, especially if it works and makes us feel refreshed and rejuvenated and like little babies. Um, <laughs> okay. I also uh, have to say, like, the shipping was pretty quick and it just felt very luxurious and like the way that it was wrapped. And I don't know if that means anything, but it just felt like yeah. very well and I, cured. Yeah, I actually, as I recall now, I think I got 15% off as a new customer. Um, I like signed up for the uh, their newsletter or whatever their deals their email deals and they gave me fifteen percent off and yeah, so that's pretty good so good deal yeah so that is our introduction to Juice Beauty and um, next time you will see us will be in our next video where we're actually going to show the testing and come back at you with our research about Juice Beauty and their claims. So from me, Daphne, and you, Layla, we want to thank you for watching this video. Um, if you want to see more of these types of videos, make sure you press the thumbs up button to tell us that you've liked it. And make sure you subscribe so you see the next, next video. It's very important to make sure you know what Juice Beauty is all about. So thanks guys and we will see you in the next video. Bye now. Bye.